Now we are going to look at an example of uh, design optimization using genetic algorithms in uh, Grasshopper. The goal is to create uh, the form of a tower in relationship to uh, thermal radiation. We are going to try to uh, make the form of a tower so it would be uh, directed to uh, the maximum thermal radiation and we're going to try uh, to make a form of a, uh, the tower uh, so it would be uh, directed to the minimum uh, uh, thermal radiation. Uh, the structure of the definition is as follows. Okay, the first part of the definition. I'll just disable this. The first part of the definition creates uh, the mass of the tower as follows. It starts with a number of ellipses. Okay, uh, we can change the position of the ellipses. Okay, and we can change the diameters of the ellipses. Then they are lofted. Okay, and they are converted to a mesh. Uh, because uh, the thermal analysis tool uh, we are using, Ecotect, uh, only works on meshes. Okay, this is the first part. Now the second part. It takes this mesh and it sends it to Ecotect. Okay, to uh, create uh, some analysis on it. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, Ecotect components. This is the first uh, Ecotect component. It establishes a connection between uh, uh, this running instance of Grasshopper and an instance of Ecotect. Uh, this component basically exports the mesh from uh, Grasshopper to Ecotect. This component gives the command uh, to Ecotect to start the analysis, the thermal analysis in this case. This, ref uh, this component retrieves the uh, results of the analysis and uh, we are using the values from this uh, component to make a preview of the colors uh, of the faces uh, of the mass. Uh, the colors range uh, from yellow to blue and they represent the amount of uh, uh, radiation that is uh, uh, that's falling on that surface a blue being uh, the lowest radiation and yellow being the highest uh, radiation okay uh, the options I, I i don't mess around with the options uh, uh, of these components and if you are, are an expert in ecotech you will understand what these what these options are Okay, now uh, the final part is the uh, genetic algorithms part. Uh, it does two things as usual. It's going to mess around with the uh, parameters that control the shape of the tower. Uh, as we said, the positions of the uh, ellipses and the uh, diameters of the ellipses. And it's going to take the uh, total radiation and use it as a fitness. Now, if we try to uh, run it, okay, we'll uh, first work on uh, uh, minimizing the, uh, the uh, thermal radiation. Of course, it's going to take a long time because the analysis take a long time and because we have uh, a number of parameters, the four parameters, I think, the position x and y then the diameters also in the x and y and these parameters are for uh, three ellipses so there are 12 uh, parameters hasn't even finished the first generation okay here we go and it's gonna take a while a real long while I think about uh, 15 minutes or so but anyway 
I run this uh, 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 solver before and this was uh, the result for the uh, minimum solar radiation okay I'll bake it and then I just change uh, this fitness to maximize uh, I just want it to work uh, to maximize the solar radiation uh, that's falling on the mass okay and this was the uh, resulting shape Well, I think uh, these two are obviously different this one has a lot of yellow faces and this one apparently has a lot of blue faces so this is uh, uh, this has more radiation falling in it and I think that uh, genetic algorithms um, should be used as a guideline I mean, this should not be considered as the shape of the tower but it should be considered as a guideline if I want to work towards uh, maximizing the uh, radiation falling on this tower I should try to achieve a shape uh, a massing that is close to this if I want to minimize it then I should try to reach something like this um, I don't know what it, ha what it has done but I think uh, here it tried to uh, make the upper levels uh, bigger than the lower levels I don't know to achieve uh, self shading or something uh, uh, now we are going to try to expand this uh, experiment on uh, something like an urban setting